Ladies and gentlemen, you're rocking with the best. be nice like you know i have my publicists and people that be like cardi you need to chill cardi you need a this you need a that but it's like i just hate the really weird sick shit bro like i don't be liking how a lot of these blogs they be trying to set me up like it's like i'm so tired of being like social media punching bag i am really tired of it like and like you know sometimes I feel like because I'm very expressive, like I express myself too much or because I'm ghetto, a lot of people like to gaslight me and say that I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. The thing is that it's like I peep a lot of shit and I feel like a lot of blogs and a lot of people, they want to, like if I have something going on, they will kind of be fake nice to me, but they will be fake nice to me so they could post shady shit or post certain things that they know that I will get dragged for. And I don't feel like it's nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I don't get treated like other people. And I feel like, you know, like if I do an interview, like for example, I'm already seeing people um, put the lipstick, uh, not, uh, the, the lipstick service interview where I was talking about the Rolling Stone shit, right? Where I was talking about the Rolling Stone shit. And I said that it's like, yo, I definitely understand how a lot of hip hop has for a certain type of way because I'm a 92 baby. So I do, like, I, I have a classic album, but then it's like, I do understand, like, how would y'all put me, like, before Biggie album and Nas album. And I said, clearly on that interview, like, I feel like Rolling Stone did that, like, for, to cause a conversation or to cause havoc. And unfortunately, I became the punching bag. But I feel like a lot of blogs posted, like, certain clips just so I can't think, just so I could get dragged again. And it's like, seriously, if that's, like, your end goal for me to get dragged, like, just stop because seriously like it's like i'm in a place that it's like i can't men mentally take it like it, it becomes tough for me you know like i am a i'm a tough person but it's just like it gets too hard when every single day you become too that's why i get like i have like a phobia like like people was like Cardi, you have to do interviews, you gotta think, but it's like that's why I be scared because it's like I'm just I'm just tired of being a punching bag and it's like I don't wanna be like a sensitive person like I used to like and just go crying and going like angry, but it's like it's a lot. Like it's a lot. Like Cardi goes through a lot. And like for I feel like y'all be doing certain things purposely and it's just like take it easy because sometimes my mental it gets a little sensitive. And I be trying to be tough, but it's a little hard when it's an everyday thing. And then, like, yeah, sprinkle more to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Come on. I'm a tough bitch. I'm a gangster bitch. But it's like, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's, it's too much. And I don't feel like that's fair. You know? It's not. So, I'm not even going to, like, be, like, the angry bitch I used to be because I, I just, I can't. It just... It's just like too much energy, but like I be peeping shit and I just feel like it's not fair to me. It's just not. It's really not. Like if y'all gonna be fair about things, post the whole things or or really show me that y'all support me. Like don't just post certain things so y'all like y'all could support me one week just so you could post the next week three shits about me that's gonna get my ass dragged because I get dragged literally every single day and like. I don't know. I don't know where to be the end goal, but it's like it's 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 a lot. Like like my mental health is like literally hanging by a pubic hair. Okay, so I'm gonna just go, and I love you. I love you guys.